Karen Huff Klein uh, is a 68 year old bus monitor in Greece, New York. And uh, she's featured in a video where she's being bullied by middle school students for 10 minutes. Now this video is difficult to watch. I think that it has uh, caused a lot of emotions for a lot of people who have watched this video. But just look at the extent of bullying in this video. What's your address? Like what neighborhood? What what's neighborhood? Your, what's your address? Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, right. What neighborhood? <laughs> Where do you live by? Where do you live by? Just, I don't I would never talk about What's this. your address so I can freaking piss off I'm your door? Tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take a crack in your mouth. I want to you know I bring cum in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking break into your house and then steal everything. Oh wait, there's I'm nothing to steal. I'm gonna shoot the brown bag and light on the fire and kill myself. That goes on for 10 minutes. They call her a fat ass. They tell her that uh, her f everyone in her family has killed themselves because they want to get away from her. She's a widow. Now, look, uh, the question is what can be done about this, right? Now, are the kids wrong in doing this? Apps, uh, but nobody disagrees. Of course, of course, it's like the word hideous, right? What they do to this poor woman. She's a bus monitor, you know, she's, but you know, kids can be vicious. Look, if you, if you don't, teach your kids the right things, they can turn into vicious little creatures, okay? We didn't come to dominate this planet by being nice guys. Uh, we're, uh, we're terrible little animals, okay? And so, and I've seen, not this level, but in my school, you know, you had a, a substitute teacher that didn't completely control the classroom, oh, they'd light into her, right? Mm -hmm. And so, kids can be much worse than adults in a lot of ways. Was this bullying? Of course, but it's kind of weird to call bullying because bullying is usually kids on kids. Now this is an you know an older woman they did this to. So Anna, what do you think should happen? Well, I want to give more detail into the story before I talk about that. What's interesting is as that was happening, she didn't hear a lot of what the kids were saying to her. As you can hear, they did say vicious things. Like one student told her, um, "Tell me where you live so I can take a crap in your mouth." I mean, Jesus. It's just so when you say, "Oh yeah, you know, I remember kids in school are vicious." No, no, it, this is an extra level. Like this is, this goes much further than what I experienced when I was going to school and I think what most people experience when they're going to school. And what I'm curious about is, why do students feel empowered to do things like this? Why do they feel like they can get away with it? That's a real issue. So anyway, she's hard of hearing. So she didn't hear the majority of what was oh, told to her. Oh, thank God, okay. But later on, um, she found the video through Facebook and she listened to what they were saying to her and she couldn't believe it. Now. Unbelievably, she doesn't want to see these kids, uh, you know, arrested or thrown in jail or anything like that. She's just like, look, I just want them to apologize. It's all I need, right? Look, this is a grown woman. She's 68 years old, and they feel like they can gang up on her like that and, and tear her apart. Now, imagine if they did that to one of their peers. Mm -hmm. That's a million times, I mean, I don't know if it's a million times worse, but someone who is an, an adult, someone right. who probably doesn't have thicker skin, who's insecure because they're in middle school or high school or whatever it is. Uh, and I'm sure they have. I, I would be shocked if that was the first time they've ever done bullying. If you look at studies, uh, there is the Institute on Family and Neighborhood Life at Clemson University, and they looked at bullying specifically, and they found that one in four have been bullied at some point. Mm -hmm. One in six are bullied two to three times a month or more. 35% of middle school and high school students say that they would bully others. They don't see a problem with it. Well, I, I, those guys amuse me. Like, they, they, I guess they, they're bad guys and they know they're bad guys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'd like to, you know, physically or at least verbally intimidate people and make their lives miserable. But they feel like it's acceptable. Like to the point where, you know, it's an anonymous questionnaire that they filled out, but to the point where they don't really see it as an issue. Like, yeah, I would bully others. What's the big deal? Now, here's the real problem, right? Because as you say, maybe kids weren't taught right. You know, they're kids. Maybe they don't know better. What about the administrators? What are the administrators doing? Well, according to that same study, 30% uh, of boys in grades 3 through 5 uh, say that a teacher had done little or nothing to reduce the bullying. That number jumps to 60% when it comes to boys in grades 9 through 12. All right, now we might get into some disagreement, right? So, uh, look, it, 
Bullying to me is particularly atrocious because it is someone usually who has more power. It could be status in a school, it could be physical strength in a school, etc. In this case it was numbers, right, and the number of people that was there uh, piling on this poor woman, right, uh, against the weak, the powerless uh, against, uh, the powerful against the powerless. So I, I couldn't hate it any more than I do, okay. Uh, but. I, I think that oftentimes the administrators have no idea. In this case, these students had told the teachers or administrators what was going on, and they did absolutely nothing about it. Right, that's a enough. real problem, and that's where the administrators should be disciplined for not doing anything. If there's evidence that there is bullying happening on their campus, and it's a repeated thing, it's not something that happens once or twice, isolated incidents, but it's something that happens regularly, and they choose to ignore it, those people should be fired. I don't want to hear any excuses about it. I'm well, so tired about you. hearing about teen suicides. I'm tired of hearing about, you know, students saying things like this. Look, Anna, it's a good point that you're making that these are cases where the administrator has been brought. It's been brought to their attention. Now, in some cases, they might have felt like they didn't have enough evidence, but overall, that's you know that does not explain the depth of the numbers. And I agree with you. And they've got to take this more seriously. And I don't know why they don't. I mean, maybe they think it's hard. I don't know. But no, why we, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you go and do something about something, an issue that is this serious in, in your schools? Maybe they think, ah, it's kids being kids. But that's really irresponsible. So the woman who was bullied uh, actually received a tremendous amount of money. Uh, someone from Reddit had posted like a call to action so people could help her uh, afford a vacation so she could take some time off and relax a little bit. Well, it turns out that people have donated $290,000 wow. to uh, Klein. Oh my God, can I be a bus monitor somewhere? Okay. Now I feel terrible for her in the beginning. Now I'm beginning to feel pretty good for her. I, mean, I hate what she went through, but God, 290,000 is awesome. As you guys could see from that graphic, the original goal was to raise $5,000, but the video went viral. You know, people's heart goes out to her. So as a result, they donated you, you a lot know of what? money. It, it, she won some sort of uh, justice lottery. <laughs> and so God bless her, it's everybody voluntarily giving her money and they see what the number is at and they're still giving. I mean, hey, they hey guys, know. Uh, Irina just gave us another update, now it's up to 310,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the number is increasing as we speak. So who knows, pretty soon she's going to be able to retire. <laughs> Yeah, I think she might be able to retire to 310,000, but yeah. keep going. Look, there's no harm in it. God bless, keep going. If, if it turns, like if you think, oh, well, you know, that's too much money for what happened, who cares? People are voluntarily giving the money. By all means, go on vacation, retire, do whatever you like, and uh, get your hearing fixed, etc. Now I feel great for her. All right, you know what this is? Justice in America, internet style.